Unity in Diversity in India What is the main theme of the passage? The main theme of the passage is Unity in Diversity in India Why does the author mention India as a land of myriad languages? The author mentions India as a land of myriad languages due to the diverse linguistic landscape in the country. According to Sir Herbert Risley, what can be discerned beneath the diversity in India? Sir Herbert Risley observes that beneath the diversity in India, there is an underlying uniformity of life. How does Vincent A. Smith describe the civilization of India? Vincent A. Smith describes the civilization of India as having features that differentiate it from other regions of the world while being common to the entire country. What does the author say about the political consciousness of the people in India? The political consciousness of the people in India has historically grasped the whole of India as a unit and assimilated the entire area as the theatre of its activities. How does the author describe India's cultural heritage? India's cultural heritage consists of art, literature, and a rich tradition of spirituality, serving as a bond of unity between people of different faiths and creeds. What languages are mentioned as recognized regional languages in India? Hindi, along with 22 recognized regional languages, is mentioned as a recognized language in India. How many dialects does India have according to the passage? India has 150 dialects, as mentioned in the passage. What is the significance of the holding of festivals of India in various parts of the world? The holding of festivals of India is a significant move to project India's cultural unity and showcase its spiritual values to the world. How does Indian classical music differ from Western music? Indian classical music is built on the concept of ragas and thalas, and each raga is considered appropriate for a specific time of the day or night who is mentioned as a significant figure in taking Indian music to the West. Ravi Shankar is mentioned as a significant figure in taking Indian music to the West. What is the classical symbol of dance mentioned in the passage? The classical symbol of dance mentioned is Shiva, the cosmic dancer, depicted in sculpture and poetry as Natraja. What role did classical plays in India historically combine? Classical plays in India historically combined music and dance, and they were performed in palaces and temples. How is dance regarded throughout India, according to the passage? Throughout India, dance is regarded not only as an accompaniment to social intercourse but also as a mode of aesthetic expression and spiritual realization what is the younger generation encouraged to uphold in the passage the younger generation is encouraged to uphold the torch of cultural unity for the rest of the world to see follow and emulate what does the author say about the superficial prosperity and material achievement of the West? The author mentions that while the West has achieved superficial prosperity and material achievements, there is a sense of isolation in its society and community. How does the author describe the variety, color, and emotional richness of Indian dances? The author describes the variety, color, and emotional richness of Indian dances as significant features of India's cultural unity. What is the range of themes covered in classical plays in India? The range of themes covered in classical plays in India is wide, and tragedy is discouraged. According to the passage, what do people in the West increasingly turn to from India? People in the West are increasingly turning to India's spiritual values, including meditation, contemplation, charity, love, universal brotherhood, 
fear of God, piety, and unselfishness. How does the author characterize the strand of cultural unity running through India? The author characterized the strand of cultural unity running through India as something that the younger generation should uphold for the world to see, follow, and emulate. What does the author suggest about the significance of diversity in India? The author suggests that diversity in India, far from causing disunity, is viewed as a source of strength and wealth. In what way does the author imply that education plays a role in understanding the unity amidst diversity? The author implies that education, with the superior interpretation and synthesis of the mind, helps individuals see the fundamental unity beneath the diverse aspects of Indian life. According to the passage, why does India's political consciousness consider the entire country as a unit? India's political consciousness considers the entire country as a unit because it has historically grasped the whole of India and assimilated the entire area as the theater of its activities. How does the author characterize the cultural heritage of India in terms of its impact on unity? The author characterizes India's cultural heritage as a bond of unity between people of different faiths and creeds highlighting its role in fostering a sense of common identity. What insight does the passage provide regarding the global perception of India's cultural values? The passage suggests that people in the West are increasingly turning to India's spiritual values, including meditation and contemplation, recognizing their significance. How does the author portray the role of Indian classical music in bridging the gap between the East and the West? The author suggests that figures like Ravi Shankar have played a significant role in bridging the gap between the East and the West by taking Indian classical music to global audiences. According to the passage, why does the author emphasize the holding of festivals of India in various parts of the world? The author emphasizes the holding of festivals of India as a significant move to project India's cultural unity and showcase its spiritual values on a global platform. What does the passage imply about the perception of materialistic progress in the West in comparison to India's spiritual values? The passage implies that India's spiritual values, including piety and unselfishness, contrasts significantly with the materialistic progress of the West, which may appear insignificant. How does the author describe the role of dance in Indian culture, and what symbolic figure is mentioned in connection with dance? The author describes dance in Indian culture as not just an accompaniment to social intercourse but also a mode of aesthetic expression and spiritual realization. Shiva, the cosmic dancer, Natraja, is mentioned as a symbolic figure. What does the passage suggest about the younger generation's responsibility in terms of cultural unity? The passage suggests that the younger generation has the responsibility to uphold the torch of cultural unity, allowing the world to witness, follow, and emulate the cultural richness of India.